this the boy that's broke out so many times? Yep, that's him. Joe. Apache Joe himself. Tom. trading post. He stole a car and he burned it. Really? You're not putting me on now, are you? Well, it was my car he burned and I ought to know. Yeah. Well, uh, what, what are we going to do about it?
Are you okay? Yeah. I'll kill those white devils. I don't wanna. I gotta have my knife. Well, uh, why don't you call up White here? Maybe he's given a reward for Joe. Joe's dodging fuzz. He'll have to hide out in the hills for a week, maybe longer. Let's get some guys together and go out and find him. meetings at the church every night. I don't like the white man's way. Indian ways are best. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are ways of death. The white man has many ways going to church and trusting in good works. The Indians also has many ways. They worship the creation, they worship the mountains, the animals, fire, and the earth itself. But the Bible is t teaching us here the right way, God's way. And then when Jesus became a man on earth, he died for us on the Calvary's cross. He rose again from the dead the third day and ascended into heaven. No one can die for us like that. So Jesus is the right way. I believe the Bible gives us the right answer. Christianity is not religion. Christianity is to receive Jesus Christ and Christ living in your heart. This is the right way to find peace. I would recommend Jesus Christ to you today if you do not have him as your personal savior. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. You know this guy I was telling you about, the one that delivers stuff to the reservation? Anyway, he's pretty sure that he heard someone talking about where Joe's hiding. Let's get some guys together. In my top! Later! Are they still looking for me? Yeah. I'm tired of running. I know. I'll lure them off.
Come on over with me. Down here, we'll head him off. Hey, engine. Oh, I have now. What's it, Tony? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, get him up. Where's your girl? I said, where's your girl? She helped you plan that robbery with my old man, huh? She helped you burn my car? Get him out of here. Oh, Ron, go get the wire. The, uh, barbed wire? <laughs> We get a scalp. They aren't hurting you, are they? Get his knife. Hey, Indian. Tell me where your girl is, and we'll forget all this. Where is she? Don't you think I mean business? It's no good, Tony. He loves her. He'll never tell you. Come on, let's get out of here, man. Yeah. Indian, you love her enough to die for. Come on, Tony. Let's get out of here. Come back oh, in a couple of days. Give him some time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and in case.
case you get thirsty. You can lap some of it up.
All night I worry about Joe. Joe can take care of himself. I worry, though. Please go look for him. You get into any more trouble, son, and it's solitary for you. <laughs> hey, Tawana. Hi. Where are you going? Town. Okay, I will give you a ride over there. Get out of here. And speak up so I can hear you. How are you? How's your mother? She's fine. Did you write to Tom? Yeah. Well, I better be going now.
stop! Uh. KOB 764 at all units. We've got a 1015 escapee. That pusillanimous engine, Joe. <laughs> ourselves. Let's go. Seminole song taken from the Everglades of Florida. And in this song, the Seminoles are talking about heaven. What a joy it's going to be to all be together and sing one song in one language. And this song is going to be the Hallelujah Song. We represent the American Indian Crusade. The American Indian Crusade has sent evangelists and missionaries to more than 100 tribes all the way from the Eskimos of Alaska down to the Aztecs in Old Mexico. The goal of the American Indian Crusade is to evangelize every Indian in North America with the gospel of Jesus Christ in our generation. Now we'd like to sing a song for you in the Tuscarora Indian language entitled, The Beautiful Land. <laughs> You can't find him. Well, get a posse together. He may be out there by the dam.
there, Joe. Just like I warned you. been there two months. Hi. We just stopped by for a few minutes to see how you're doing and to let you know that we're praying for you. Sheriff speaking. Oh, I sure, Tom, anytime. Oh, uh, how about doing a special number just for me? And lands I may not own, wealth or riches to be known. Humble persons in this world I may be. I can't keep up with the time, but I know I'm doing fine. I claim Jesus first and that's enough for me. I claim Jesus first of all. happy to be able to be with you today for this service and we are glad to represent the Lord Jesus Christ our wonderful Savior and today we have with us Alan Early who is an Apache Indian evangelist he has spent many months in jail even in this very jail but we're glad today that he is serving the Lord Jesus Christ and he's going to give us a word of testimony at this time Alan Early I'm very happy to be here this morning to share with you the experience that I've had in my life. For many years I've lived in sin and I've spent many times in this jail myself. Maybe there are some of you in here today that are thinking about getting out of this jail. And I know this is the way it was with me when I was in this jail because I wanted to be free. But you know, uh, I have experience of uh, running away out of this jail ten times before a day came that I realized that I was a slave to sin also. The Bible says that we are all sinners and the wages of sin is death. And it is appointed unto men once to die and after this judge, the judgment. Therefore we are all slaves to sin. This is why Jesus came into this world because he really loves you so much. And this is why he died for you on the cross of Calvary over in the wayside of Jerusalem when the Bible says there that they crucified him and then after his crucifixion he was buried the third day he rose again and now he's in heaven he's offering you a new life a new start he will change your life if you will ask him to come into your life today and have this very same experience that I have had in my life 
Your life can be different today if you'll let Jesus Christ come into your heart. God loves each one of us, even you prisoners in here. And he wants to save you. When I was still in this solitary cell, I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ out here in this hallway. And uh, that day the Lord spoke to me and showed me that I was a sinner and that I was a slave to sin also. And so Jesus Christ came into my life and set me free. And when I was before this judge, he told me that there was a great confusion in my records. And so he said, Alan, I will take all of this record that is before me and tear it in two. And then he says, I'm going to get rid of this. And so he threw it into the waste basket. And then he said, I, you are free from this day on. And I want to tell you today that this is what Jesus Christ came to do. If you have in your life, your record is so bad, you can turn to Jesus Christ today and God can take you all your records in the past and tear it in two and throw it away and he can make a new person out of you and you can have a clean record before God today if you'll turn to Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says that Jesus came into this world and he came to die for those he loved. The Indian, you'll have enough to die for. The Bible says he went to the cross of Calvary. There he gave his life for mankind. Today, if you will call upon Jesus Christ, take him as your personal savior, he will save you too and change your life. Pray this prayer with me as I pray. Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I now receive Jesus Christ as my Savior. They claim old Joe got converted. <laughs> In jail. He's just working on some angle so that he can bust out again. Joe, I can hardly believe the judge let you out this early. Yeah. 